Orthopedics, my comment on the nature of scientific inquiry. The process of discovery in medicine or surgery usually starts with a case report put into a journal. This is the case with thalidomide. It may also be about how to perform a new operation. Then there's further series published. Then there's a well-planned trials, prospective control and blinded trials, fitting in with all the epidemiological requirements of most journals. Such trials are the verified procedure. But you know what? Surgeons might be surprised to learn that the major biological discovery of the 20th century, the description of DNA published in 1953 in the Nature Journal, was not peer-reviewed, as it was considered self-evident by the editors of Nature, and so was published published in 1953, 25th of April. In a similar way, John Charney's case series fundamentally changed the course of orthopedics. This is Charney's paper or work from 1960s and in the early 70s. It may be that the statistical technique for medical papers are not necessarily applicable to surgical techniques of papers. Surgical studies may not obtain a high level of evidence as defined by the JBJS or the status and credibility of a randomized controlled study, but still contain important and useful information for practicing surgeons. In a recent publication, the Australian New, Je New Zealand Journal of Surgery, they talk about heuristics, H-E-U-R-I-S-T-I-C-S. -I We're basically looking at the development of surgical technique basically surgical tricks that patient that surgeons use to be able to perform operations well. I think surgeons should not be slaves to epidemiologists or to the requirements of publication of medical papers. Surgical papers, small numbers are just or in most cases probably more important. Thank you for your interest.